Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it is time to play. We're back in Astro Colony. I cleared off this planetoid. We're about to jettison this one. We've got two advanced uh, constructors creating uh, carbon fiber. I think we've got enough power. Yeah, we're good. I moved the solar away, just put a little one right next to them. We had a bigger one over here, don't need it. And I went around and harvested a little bit of... Um, a little bit of quartz where I saw it. I don't know. I probably don't need to bother doing this. But um, you can grab a couple of these nuggets while I look at it. But we're getting ready to let this thing go. And hook up to something else. Last episode, we started building the computers we need for the, um, for the control panel so we can navigate better. I think what I'm going to do, just to keep things moving here temporarily... Until we get all of our manufacturing up and running, I'm going to put three storage containers here just to um, keep the lines moving. Not super important that we do this, but let's do it. I think, okay. Seats. Yeah, I think this will just help things move along a little bit until we're ready to do the next step. And let's see if we can build that um, control panel now. I think we can. Jump in. You. Yep, 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 we're good. For now, I'm going to put this right... Do we want it on the base floor? About right there. We're gonna move all this other stuff out of here. Um, or does it look cool up on a platform? Let's put it there for now, and see what we can actually do with this thing. Okay, they want two more thrusters, maybe. Northwest. Okay, stop immediately. Autopilot active. Do I turn these things on? Turn these thrusters on, just for the heck of it. See if they register as being on. Okay, they do. Now we need... <clears throat> we need two more thrusters. It's... <laughs> we're, <laughs> they're in a horrible spot right now. Fix this floor tile, too, while we're looking at it. Drive people crazy. Uh, what might you be? That one, or there, oh, there's something else on that one. Nope. One more try. Oh, it looks like that one. Metal gray. Is it just matte black? Let's try this one, then we'll give up. Horrible. All right, even worse. Let's um get two more thrusters going. We'll. We've got the option to do the bigger ones. Let's just see what that's all about. These guys, plasma thrusters. Eight motherboards. Uh, looks like it probably takes some aluminum. We could do these. Build thrusters, plasma thrusters. Hmm. See how big they are. Oh, man. Those, they look kind of cool. Where are we supposed to put these guys? I kind of would like them on a little platform underneath. Um, hmm. Like under here, right? Or something? One in each direction? But on a, hmm. Not sure. It seems weird to have them on the main floor like this. And we need, we need them pointing in every direction. Let's, let's uh, play with this and see what we can do. Play with this, see what we can do. Um, boy, the flooring is kind of weird over here. Let's assume that's roughly center and build a little platform out. Uh, pillars? Do I have pillars? About something like this. That lined up looks kind of like it is. 
I think we do actually want to come down the extra one there. Diagonal, diagonal, something like that. Building a little platform for our thrusters. Oh, right in the wrong spot. Um, unfortunate. Can we just... No, they're not going to let me, right? Okay. Okie dokie. Let's think through a solution to this one. Not quite. That's what I want. Hard to uh, control the camera here. That's why things look a little goofy. My navigation. Back to our pillars. View-ish. Oh man, yeah, it's a little uh, challenging to work down here. Where we want to be, it actually is, right? Look like it. That does not look like the right spot. Let's look at what we're doing here. There's the kind of corner. Over, over, over. I kind of want this one here, I think. I'm going to go two diagonally out. So one, two. One, two, two. Why is that not working? That not working. You guys see it. I'm doing something goofy, right? I think that's what we want. All right, let's see if we can make this work. Uh, let's do, do these guys. Stick out a little bit past the pillars maybe. Something like that. Now let's get those thrust thrusters and see how they look, if they fit better on here. And I need, do I have what I need? I do. Actually build these. You gotta get power to them. We'll figure out a way to do that. Um, probably cannot be centered. Oh man. I <laughs> uh, can't possibly be centered. Did we solve that another way? I don't think so. Um, yeah, it's not going to be centered. Can't do it. It's going to drive me crazy. All right. Let's uh plunk this down. You go there. there worse right uh you go there and how about this one hmm. they're all offset by one does that look better bear with me here okay this one's cheating off to the left a little that one's cheating off to the left a little Let's uh, change this one to do that same thing. See how that looks. Right, like that. And same thing here. I think that's the best we can do as far as symmetry. You have them all a little bit off. 
And then power is going to come from the ceiling for these guys, I think. Get rid of all this. Oops, that's our block. I uh, see. That's our colony block. It's just bedazzled here with some stuff. Uh, power. Where? Here. How about can we do something? Might look interesting. Yeah, we're going to pretend this requires a whole bunch of power or something. <laughs> Doing this for the sake of symmetry, not necessary. No logical reason for it. All right, yeah, just for looks on the cables there, just for looks. I don't know if they're good looks or not, but now we've got four of those. We can rip up these, I'm sure. They served us well. They got us to three planetoids. Got more floor tiles and stuff to patch in. Try one. Now let's look at the bridge. <clears throat> okay. Autopilot active. Stop immediately. So this is, we just say what we want to do, which direction. Right. Is that the idea? I think so. I think so. How are we doing on power? Now that we hook that thing up, we should still be good. 228 over 252. We're good. Uh, let's take a look at the map. We need aluminum. That one's got 2200 aluminum. Uh, that one has nothing. No aluminum. No aluminum. No aluminum. Go to this W planet. I guess we can try this. Now, is there a way? Is there a way that I got to finish my sentence? Is there a way that I can um, autopilot my way to this guy, Valsari Void? Pop up would be nice. I think that just centers the map. Forget the previously modified object. So, this is what I was clicking before and getting rid of. Planetoids. Oh, I guess I, you know, now there's been a little back and forth in the comments on this. This makes sense if you've mined out an object and you no longer want to see it. Or like in this case, we've got a planetoid here that has no resources. So I don't want it. I can just say, forget it. Boom. And I think it disappears from the map. Right? So that kind of makes sense as a feature. Initially, I was like, not, uh, too keen on it. I renamed two planets or two planetoids and I thought I was just closing the window or closing the dialogue and I actually lost them and they actually had good resources. I don't know if there's a way to get them back. Probably not. Back to the original question. Is there a way I can just route to this thing? I mean, I know I've got to go. It looks like it's almost straight up, doesn't it? I'm oh, sorry, void. Need if there were coordinates somewhere. Let's see in the control panel. Belsari Void. No, we know we got. We know we got to go up. And I can't pick a planetoid. You know. 
guess it's just this kind of thing. We moving up like super fast right now. Yeah, we're doing, we're moving pretty good. <laughs> we're destroying our station with uh, asteroids. We're moving up so fast. Let's take a look at those. Uh, there's Valsari Void, so we can kind of navigate with a map. I mean, with the, uh, just by looking. Any animations here? Not a lot. A little. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we, we're going to get there pretty quick. Let's clean up these little nuggets that I know are down here. Uh, these are necessary to place the floor at the level I had it, but they're not necessary now. Clean that up a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Now let's... um. Let's disconnect this other planetoid. Let's just do it. I'm going to stop everything. Boom. And let's pull what's in here out. Boom, boom. And then let's call it quits on this whole planetoid. We're done. Trying to get this thing to collect the way I want. Uh, why aren't these belting in? Take a look. We may have a belt problem here. Let's take a look. Oh, the belt is just loaded. Loaded with uh, ingots here. Oh, uh, yeah. Shoot. All right. We will deal with it. We gotta get the rest of this stuff out of here, though. Beat. In order to empty the belt here in the docking station, we're going to have to get rid of some of the ore that's, or get rid of some of the carbon fiber that's sitting on the belt over here. That, uh, it's on an angle too. Um, maybe here. Just to clear that belt. And then we're going to unhook. I guess we'll steal our docking station back too. Okay, all the ore is out. You construct that for the heck of it. And undock. So long. And I'm going to take that back too. Sweet. That's it. We've mined it out. There is nothing much of value left. Maybe some quartz and stone blocks, stuff like that. But we did a pretty good job on that one. A little bit of quartz sitting right there. Now let's get back in the controls and head towards Valsari Void. Want to go up? Boom. See how fast it moves us. You can tell what direction we're heading now, right? All these asteroids flying down. Take a quick look at the map. Where's the distance? Uh, 1.94 light years. Feeling we're going to get there pretty quick. All right, now it's coming into view. Maybe we will dock with this guy this episode. 
Okay, let's point it down a hair. We don't go slamming into this thing. I kind of want to go. Hmm. Maybe this way. Yeah. Yep. 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 The up. Oh, what am I doing? I don't want to go north. Let's uh, let's get up first. Oh man, that guy's a. Kind of a beefy one here. Look at that thing. That's kind of cool. All right. Um. Oh, move this. I'll <laughs> check that out. Uh, we want to go that way. This way. This way. Oh man, talk about a game changer. Man, that control panel is awesome. Okay, now we need to look at that thing. All right, all right. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. On the, uh, I'll get to it. I don't want to spend 20 minutes on the video trying to fix that floor tile. Uh, this is a good place for the uh, stage for the uh, control panel too, visually. And these rockets are almost too powerful. We yeah, we got to get closer. Ball it. Man, uh, we do not have a lot of flat surface on this one. Boy, oh boy. Height wise, I think we can. Hmm, almost fine, right? Almost fine height wise. We just got to inch a little closer this direction and got to move forward a little bit too. Way. Way. Any bit more might be this the station might do it for me. Or the I'm sorry, the docking station might do it for me. I want to go down. That's where I can I think we need to come down just a little bit. A little bit further out. Let's let's see if the docking station does it for us. Uh, let's put. Boy. Let's see what we can do. I do wish that the trees were um more space themed. But uh, take what we got. C dock. I want. We're gonna have to do some. Clearing, I'm sure. Let's see if this cooperates with docking station placement. Oh, it looks like it's gonna. Check it out. Oh, are we gonna jam in a little bit? 
up. Might be too close. So uh, we can fix it. That'll do. That'll do just about perfect. Oh man, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. How am I doing on oxygen? All right. Pardon my horrible navigating here. I'm going to get rid of this guy because it's going to drive me crazy. All right, map, let's see what we have for resources on this guy. That's not where we're at. We're up here. Well, sorry, void. Aluminum a little bit, 2,000. Aluminum, gold, copper, iron, and carbon. So we will set up mining on this. Maybe, I don't know if we want to do it right this minute. Maybe between episodes, I can level off a little platform for us to set up our miners. Let's think about uh, what we got to do that's a little more important, which is starting to process these materials into stuff that's useful. And we can, we've got three belts. We want to get those belts over to this area. We can go underneath and come up and try and hide that. Kind of like what we've got going here. But I need one more belt. I have to snake down the other side. I guess we could, you know, make it so there's two. All right, Clippy, what do you want? Every food needs to be transported to the canteen before it's taken and consumed. Okay. I can't really do that now because um, the canteen is loaded. I guess we could, um, just, let's try and satisfy Clippy real quick. Let's satisfy Clippy. Oh, I took up my robotic lab too, my robot building. Oh, Clippy. We're going to build a robot lab or lo lo yeah, robot manufacturing here, robot assembler. Just took that up between episodes. But let's do it for Clippy's sake. Boom. see if we can't clear that one objective that he really wants us to do. Uh, let's get a transport bot. We need, I just want one. Copper plates and hydrogen tanks, six and two. Six copper plates. Two hydrogen tanks. See if we can make Clippy happy. Uh, what we're gonna do is empty this canteen, and we'll put this bread down back into the kitchen, I guess. And let's see if our transport bot can actually do its thing, and then maybe Clippy will be happy. That we had a bot delivering food. Okay, here comes our bot. These may be working now. I think, you know, I feel like I had a bug when I was uh, working with these before, but I did try a couple of different things that were not feasible. So that could be part of the problem. Oh, that bread looks good. Let's just see if letting this guy do his thing um, kind of makes Clippy happy. In the meantime, we can be productive and put down another platform because we're going to need it for manufacturing stuff.
that's that. All right, is there a little bot? Did he make his way up? We've got bread. Let's check on Pippi. Is he a bot? I mean, is he way far away now? Nope, he's over here. All right. Did I do what you asked? Can I wake you up? E. Did I do it? Okay, every food needs to be transported to the canteen before it's taken by astronauts and consumed. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it with a bot, too, with a carry bot. I think, right? Here's our little bot. There he goes. Bringing up bread. There we go. Boom. That should make Abot happy and move us along, right? Okay, every food needs to be transported to the canteen. All right. Maybe they want us to do every single food. I'm going to leave Abot up, but hopefully. Maybe I won't leave a bot up. Hopefully he's happy. I we just he or she we delivered the goods with carry bot. All right, what's next? Just about ready to wrap this episode up. I think what I'm gonna do is build out this platform. One more, so we've got four tiles to work with. Again, all this stuff here has got to come up, so that's gonna be kind of work probably for next episode. I have enough plates on me to do this. Boom. Just finish this out and put the pillars. Boom. Boom. Cool. Now we've got uh, room to build, and we'll get the we'll start next episode by routing all these materials probably underneath this main part of the station. I just I was gonna do it up top, but I just have this tight spot right here where to get those belts routed. I think would end up looking not so great. So. We'll pick it up next episode. All this and just about everything on this platform we're going to have to rearrange. And then later on we'll get to mining this new planetoid. But yeah, that's it for this episode. For now it's Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.